I'm sweating. I'm always sweating. Sweating so much. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. I don't think I've done a sit down video in about three weeks. It's crazy. When I first started this channel, all of my videos were sit down videos and for the past three weeks, I haven't been able to really just chill in my room and make a couple of videos for you guys because I've been traveling a lot. Praise God, he's been so, so good to my family and I. We rang in the new year in Bangkok. I vlogged the entire trip, so just in case you guys haven't seen that video yet, I'll link it for you guys up here. The moment we got back that following week, we left for Boracay because my friend Hannah was getting married. I spent that weekend in Boracay. I unfortunately didn't vlog it. Sorry guys. I was there with family. I hosted the reception as well. So it was really just more of downtime with my family and with my friends. So I didn't get to vlog that. And by the time you guys are watching this, I'm putting this up on Saturday, January 20. Crazy. I'll be on my way to Japan. I'm going to Japan for the first time with my family and I'm super, super excited. We're going to Fukuoka, which is sort of like the food slash shopping area in Japan. They've got a lot of great restaurants, a lot of food markets, and apparently a lot of outlets as well. And you guys know how much my family loves to shop, whereas I love to eat. So it's a really good mix of shopping and eating for us. And it's going to be my first time in Japan and I'm super, super excited. As you guys are watching this, I'm probably already vlogging myself on the airplane and at the airport and whatnot. And it's going to be really, really fun. So I'll take you guys along for that as well. Since I've been traveling quite a lot, I would show you what's in my travel slash carry-on bag. You know how there are a lot of these videos on YouTube where people show what they bring with them to the airplane? So whether it's like a tiny suitcase or a duffel bag or a backpack, they show you all of the stuff inside. I figured it might be interesting if you guys wanted to see what I like to bring with me when I travel. So for this video, I'm going to show you guys what I'm bringing with me to Fukuoka. Take note that it is going to be winter time there, so it's quite cold. I didn't put my coat in the bag anymore because it ain't going to fit, but I will be taking a coat with me. So if you guys want to know what's in my travel carry-on bags and please keep watching. This is the carry-on bag that I will be bringing with me. Discreet and subtle, I know, but this was given to me by Cell from the station. So thank you, Miss Cell, so, so much. It's this holographic gold backpack and honestly, I think it's adorable. Like, I know it's really loud and I know a lot of people are going to be like, when they see it, but I mean, I figured number one, it's a backpack, so it's gonna be super convenient to bring all of my stuff, including my laptop. And number two, just in case I get lost at the airport, it'll be really easy for my family to spot me, to find me, to ask people to help look for me if I'm using this backpack. Pretty heavy because like I said, I'm bringing with me my laptop. I like to put all of the things that I reach for the most in the front pocket, mainly because I don't want to be hassled to have to open the entire backpack and search for these things. So usually in the front pocket, I've got the tiny essentials. So the first thing in the small pocket are mints. I always have mints with me because I've got this silly fear of having bad breath. I know it sounds crazy, but I just, I can't. So like after every meal, after every snack, after every drink, I have to have a mint, be it gum or hard candy mint. So I always make sure my mints are easy to reach. And then I've got my sunglasses. These are my favorite sunglasses. These are the Ray-Ban Aviators in the largest size. These are the ones with the green lenses and the gold frame. My mom got these for me as my college graduation gift because I've always wanted a pair and she kindly gifted these to me. And so, I mean, I graduated from college back in 2012. I've had these for a solid six years. They're going strong. They're my favorite pair of sunglasses and I bring them with me on all my trips. Then of course, being the germaphobe that I am, I've got hand sanitizer, pretty self-explanatory. I bring the small bottle because I know that at the airport, you can't bring anything more than 100 ml. Just make sure that even my hand sanitizer is in a small bottle, that way they don't confiscate it. Airports are dirty, people! Napkins, little TMI if there are any guys watching. <laughs> yeah, I like to bring sanitary napkins because you never know, mother nature might just surprise you. Yo girl, what's up? It's my time to shine, boom. You gotta have napkins with you. This is my favorite brand. It's actually sent to me by the brand, it's Jeunesse. This is my favorite. These are the most amazingly comfortable, thin and heavy duty sanitary napkins. I highly, highly recommend it. And because it's winter in Fukuoka, I also have my leather gloves in the small pocket. I got these 
from Marks and Spencer. They're 100% real leather. Sorry to all of the vegans watching. My hands get really, really cold, like really easily. So I like to make sure that I pack my winter gloves in my carry-on so that the moment we step foot in the country and it's winter time, I can just pop these babies on and my hands are nice and warm. The only thing I don't like about these gloves is because it's leather, it doesn't have the fingertip technology. So I have to remove it if I need to use my phone. That's not that convenient, but they are very warm and they are very durable. I highly recommend leather gloves from Marks and Spencer. They weren't that expensive too. I think they were about 1,700 pesos, which is not bad for real leather. The last thing inside the small pocket of my backpack is of course my snack pouch. You guys know this. I mean, if you've seen my original What's in My Bag video, you know that I like to keep a lot of snacks in my bag. For our Japan trip, I'm bringing my Cliff Bar in the Sierra Trail mix. I love these Cliff Bars. They're so, so filling and they taste so good. And I mean, they're made with organic oats and peanuts and the ingredients aren't as bad as like those really sugary granola bars and a small packet of dried mangoes as well. And I've got a couple of hard fruity candies just in case I get dizzy or if anybody in my family gets lightheaded. And I always bring with me antiacid. I always bring the liquid Gaviscon with me. I just find that these work so much quicker than the chewables. You down a sachet and then in a couple of minutes, your acid's gone. Always bring some Gaviscon with me. I actually think two is too little, so I might have to pass by Mercury and refill this little pouch before I head on to Japan. All right, now that we've gone through the entire small pocket of my backpack. How about we get to the goods that are inside? Got a couple of things in here. The first one being probably the heaviest thing in this bag, my laptop. I've got the MacBook Pro Retina display laptop and it's just in this cute little flamingo case. I know this is such a tita thing to bring, but I always have toilet paper with me even in my handbag. If you're gonna need to use the bathroom and the bathroom doesn't have toilet paper, if you're gonna need to blow your nose, wipe your sweat, clean a surface. I just like to bring toilet paper with me. I always have an entire roll when I travel. This cute little furry pouch actually holds my camera, but it's not in here right now because I'm currently using it to film this video. It's from one of my friends, Trish. Trish has a YouTube channel as well. It's called Millennial Morena. I'll link it for you guys down below. She's just so, so sweet. And I think you guys will really enjoy her videos. And inside, aside from my camera, my earphones, they're just so easy to travel with and they don't take up a lot of space. I've got this super Super cute Audrey Hepburn tin case. I can't remember where I got this or who gave this to me, but inside it just has a bunch of my SD cards. I like to bring a couple of memory cards with me just in case the one that I'm using breaks or whatever. And last thing is my tripod. It's quite heavy for a tripod, but it really, really is just so awesome. It splits up. You can place it on top of a table, on top of a shelf or whatever. And then the top, it moves like 360. You can really position your camera any way you want. And I find that for vlogging especially, this is really, really handy passport. A lot of people are actually asking me where I got my passport case from. My manager, Leia, gave this to me as one of her Christmas gifts and I always make sure that I have a pen inside because they make you fill up a lot of forms at the airport and it really helps if you have your own pen. It just makes things so much quicker. So I always make sure that I have a pen inside my passport, my wallet. I bring a smaller wallet with me whenever I travel. This is usually my travel wallet. My boyfriend, Nico, actually got this for me a couple of years ago when he was with Ateneo. They used to travel a lot for training and I can't remember if he got this for me in the States or in Dubai But it was one of his gifts to me when he got back. He's so sweet I know and it's still going strong So inside I'll just have like my driver's license credit card EDM and then of course I've got my Japanese yen. These are huge bills by the way like I mean gigantic passport and wallet both muy importante for traveling and the last thing in my travel carry-on is my makeup kit. Now, I don't really bring a lot of makeup with me when I travel. I have my staples, like basically all my Glossier stuff, but I do like to keep a couple of makeup bits in my carry-on just in case I need to touch up or just in case I need to put a little bit more makeup. Because it's a winter country and my hands are very, very dry and sensitive as it is, I like to bring with me a hand cream. This was actually a gift from another one of my friends, Jules. Jules also has an incredible devotional YouTube channel. I will also link it down below. It's called Just Jeans. Jesus with jewels. She does song covers as well as little devotionals and they are just beautiful. I highly recommend you check that channel out. I'll link it below. So she got me this Body Shop Shea hand cream. Definitely bringing this with me. It's also the perfect travel size. And then I've got my Fenty Beauty Matchstick Concealer in the shade Bamboo. I like bringing stick concealers with me inside my bag because I just find it so much easier to reapply and blend in and the Fenty one is really good. The coverage is phenomenal and it's so easy 
to blend. Again, I highly recommend this. My nails are also super, super dry and brittle. Nail balm in the lavender scent. This was given to me at an event, I think last year. They gave this as one of the giveaways and I seriously love this. It is so moisturizing and it's just perfect, especially if you've got dry and brittle nails. My nails really chip and break easily, so this really helps me a lot. I've got my Mahiwagan brush. This is the Real Techniques setting brush, which I like to uh, use to scratch my face. I know it's weird. Comes with me wherever I go. Milk Makeup Face Gloss. This can actually be a highlighter, but I've never tried it as a face highlighter. I like to use this as a lip gloss. So if I feel like I want to have glossier looking lips, I guess, I will use this. That's a description. This is my Vix inhaler. I just really love taking this with me because my nose tends to get stuffy on the plane. I don't know if it's because of the stale air or all, all of the people. It also helps if you're feeling dizzy or if you're nauseous. This is a good little thing to have in your travel bag. My MAC Studio Fix powder foundation. I love this. This is my holy grail powder foundation. It does not make me look cakey. It does not break me out. It's just the perfect powder foundation. I've also got these lozenges. These are the Diflam lozenges. These are great if you have a sore throat or if your throat's itchy and I always make sure I have a couple of pieces with me even when I travel. GlossierCherryBalm.com. This is a multi-purpose product. I mean it's a fantastic lip balm and it also works as a cheek fit. If I look a little pale or if I look a little dead from the flight, I just put a little bit of this on my cheek. Smells like cherry starburst. Oh, it smells so delicious. I love the GlossierBalm.coms a lot. I just got a couple more things in this pouch. I've got some Busco Pandinas. You never know when Mother Nature may decide to uh, drop on by and hop on in and just chill out with you. So just in case I get dysmenorrhea or tummy cramps, I take a busco pan. And then I've got two lipsticks. I always bring a couple of lipsticks with me when I travel. This one is the MAC Huggable Lip Color in What A Feeling. It sort of looks like a My Lips But Better shade. I love it. And then I also have the Russian Red Matte Lipstick. This is the brightest red ever. I just think that this looks so, so good. Such a universal red and I always make sure that I've got a light lipstick and I've got a bold lip color as well. And there you guys have it. Everything inside my super subtle and discreet travel carry-on backpack. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and it didn't bore you guys to death. I'll leave everything listed below in the description box for you guys just in case you want to check out a couple of things or you're curious to try some of the things that I'm bringing with me to Fukuoka. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already and leave me a comment down below of any Japan recommendations, please. I would love to know. By the time you guys are watching this, like I said, I will be in Fukuoka and I will be vlogging the whole thing, so stay tuned for that. I'll be trying to upload them real time, which is why I'm bringing my laptop with me, so hopefully you guys will stick around for that. So again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye!